Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday where we discuss a feature in just a couple of minutes. Today we're going to take a quick look at extrusion smoothing parameters. Now for our example we're going to use this 2D concave connector and extrude it upwards. Select the connector and then go up to the menu, the create menu, click on extrude, normal. Let's first try to run an extrusion upward with all of the default settings. Click on the run tab, type in 50 and push the run button. Whoops, looks like we ran into a problem here. Perhaps some numerical instability or the lines started to cross each other. Fortunately, we can resolve this by using the smoothing parameters that are found on the attributes tab. It's at the very bottom of the attributes tab. Check the box that says smoothing parameters. The first two values that you see are explicit and implicit. These are the hyperbolic smoothing coefficients. Now the first value, explicit, has a range of 0 to 10. The second value has a much larger range. It can go from about 0 up to infinity, but it is limited. It has to be double the value of that shown in the explicit. So let's change this to 2.0, and implicit has to be double that, so let's try 4.0. Let's rerun this extrusion and see what happens. That's pretty good. Let's click on the Attributes tab again and talk about the last two parameters, the Kinsey Barth and the Volume. Kinsey Barth is off by default, it sets a zero. Now this parameter helps prevent crossing of the grid lines in the marching direction. It should be set to about three or greater when the front includes severe concavities. So let's set it to 3.0 and re-extrude. I'm going to push Restart and push Run. Now that did a pretty good job. This leaves the last parameter, the volume parameter. Now this is set to 0.5 by default, but it has a range of 0 to 1. This parameter determines how rapidly the grid clustering on the front relaxes as the extrusion steps forward. Let's find out what happens when we set the extreme range on this. Let's take it down to the lowest, 0.0. .0. Click on the Run tab. Let's restart, push Run. Notice that the clustering was maintained as that front moved up. In fact, the clustering is somewhat tight up here at the top and the middle. Let's go back to the Attributes tab, change that volume parameter to 1.0, and re-extrude. We see that the clustering relaxed much more rapidly as this front advanced out of the concave region. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you for watching and have a pleasant Tuesday.